We know exactly where a Biden administration would go on this issue, and it's not where we should go. We're very proud of the work that we've done to bring these two sides together, to talk about economic development, to focus what Donald Trump does best, which is build economies, create jobs. I told both sides, you know, we have a lot of political issues on the table to talk about. And we can continue fighting about symbolism and politics and words for another 20 years. But how about we do something that Donald Trump does best, which is grow the economies. Let's give young people in the region hope so that they can stay there and not move to Hungary or Poland or Germany. <laughs> Let's create some American companies, European companies in the Balkans. It'll help American companies, it'll help the Balkans. <clears throat> One of the things that I'm really proud of in this agreement is that the Serbian government agreed to diversify its energy. This is one thing that the media will never give Trump credit for. Because if you understand the situation, 100% of Serbia's media uh, uh, energy right now comes from Russia. And for the Serbs to say that they're going to diversify, that means they're going to get less energy from Russia and move closer to the United States. Yes. That's a win for the United States. We are so proud of our work for Kosovo and Serbia and the entire region. And I couldn't be more proud to be in Serb Hall in Wisconsin. That's pretty exciting. I really want you all to understand that you can make a difference in this election. Wisconsin can really make a difference. I'm here because it's a battleground state. I'm not in a whole bunch of other states. It's down to just a few. And it matters here in Wisconsin. Your vote matters. I really am gonna ask you to do something for the president because he's been working for you and it's time that we work for him. We just have a few days left. And if we can win Wisconsin again, and by bigger numbers than we won in 2016, we can send a very strong message and give credit to the Serbs. <laughs> give credit to the Serb Americans who are coming out in droves to President Trump. Here in Wisconsin, I think Serb Americans can make a difference. If we can let every single person that you know that is leaning Trump, that is for Trump, to make sure they get to the polls, don't call them at four o'clock or five o'clock on election day, that's too late. <clears throat> call them early in the morning, ask them if they voted. If they haven't voted, go pick them up. You can't imagine how many people intend to vote and run out of time. Do it first, there'll be long lines. Take the day off. There will be long lines. Don't think you can just go by and vote and 30 minutes later make your appointment. Clear your day. Go talk to other people. Drag them to the polls. Because if every single person who wants Trump to win votes, we will win. We won Pennsylvania and Wisconsin in 2016 because we turned red counties blood red. Yeah. Not because we were convincing the undecideds, but because we went to the supporters that we knew were for Trump and we made sure that they voted. I think that Retired Americans, older Americans have a special responsibility this year to speak up about America. You've seen us and you know our story. You know that we are a great country, that when we have problems and we focus on them, we solve them. 
I hope that if you're retired, if you're older American, that you will speak up over the next several days. Talk to your children, your grandchildren. Tell them the story of America. You've seen America rise through difficult situations. And I think you are the best spokespeople to make sure that the story is not told by the left that we are a terrible country where the police need to be defunded and we need to kneel for the American flag. <coughs> I hope my retired friends will tell the story of America. And I hope that first and second generation Americans will also speak up and be loud. You know what socialism is like. And your voice is critical to say, watch the countries that have fallen to socialism. We cannot mess around. This is the most important election that we've ever had. And I know people say that every election. But this is really true. I'd like to take time to take a couple of questions. But let me just finish by saying, I told President Trump that I was coming to Wisconsin. I told him I was coming with my good friend Ron Johnson, who unfortunately had to stay back in Washington to fight. And President Trump said to me, are you meeting with the Serbs? <laughs> and I said, yes, sir, of course. I'm going to Wisconsin. I'll be meeting with the Serb Americans. And he said, well, you tell them that that agreement was hard fought and that we are really excited to implement the four economic agreements that we've been able to come to agreement on. So that's a direct message from the president. We're, we're proud that uh, he, he sat with President Vucic in the Oval Office and President Vucic invited him to Belgrade. He described Belgrade and I jumped in and I said, oh, Mr. President, Belgrade's an amazing city, you gotta go. And the president said, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Belgrade. After I win re-election, and I go as president of the United States. Thank you very much. I'd like to take a couple of questions, um, and uh, I'm happy just to spend a couple of minutes here.